Hello, welcome to our Python tutorial series video again. I believe you already have Python installed on your computer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install arguably the most powerful Python IDE, which is uh, Parcham. As you can see on my uh, screen. Again, it's just like install other software. Go to Google or other search engine and download it. You can go to Google and Parcham, type Parcham over here and uh, hit here to uh, go to uh, download page. As you can see, here we have two Parcham version available to us. One is professional version that is uh, specialized to web development. And uh, it's a commercial version, uh, but we do not need to pay for that. The community version is more than enough for us. So just download the community version. And um, you can double click the executable file and install, uh, install it as uh, you install a regular software. Once it's finished, you can double click and install it. You can create a new project or check out from version control like a Git or uh, other um, version control tools like a clear case. Here we simply create a uh, very simple project. Let's call it uh, test, maybe, uh, maybe hello world. And let's create it. I strongly recommend it to you to read those tips if you are not familiar with Parcham. And here I'm going to close it. Uh, the default theme is uh, IntelliJ, which is uh, just like mine. But you may like uh, change it to a cooler theme. Most of people, including myself, are like the darker theme. I'm going to show you how to change the theme. Here we go to File, and it, Settings, and uh, Appearance. Here is uh, Intelli IntelliJ which is uh, a java uh, develop ide and apply it you can see it's uh it's very cool and most people like this um, theme uh, it is a very powerful ide it allows you to uh, increase uh, integrate uh, your version control tools like uh, git and c um, CSV and uh, color keys, etc. And uh, it also provides many tools like uh, run debugs and the unit test, which is uh, uh, pretty useful later after when you check your code. Um, okay, that's all for PyCharm for now, and uh, see you next video.